Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the World Cup draw preview. Yes, the World Cup draw is on the 1st of April. It's not an April's Fool's Day joke. Uh, and I always say the World Cup draw should be considered as the highest probability holiday out there or probabilistic holiday out there because this is the one time, this is the one time where the whole world is watching as balls are drawn out of urns as it's usually if you have had a, ever had a, st a stats class i uh, hate the usage of the term urn in that sense but you were balls are drawing out of a bowl and you can talk about probabilities how likely it is that you get this or this group or whatever so um for me it's always a high time i did spend a good chunk of yesterday evening uh, just programming the draw, which yeah was a little bit more tricky than I thought. Now, um, I also wanted to give you how much guidance this draw needs. I mean, first of all, uh, we have the groups more or less sorted by the current FIFA ranking, which I think is a great idea because this gives validity to the FIFA ranking. We can say whatever we want about it. Is it good? Is it bad? But once it affects seeding, you have to take it seriously. And this uh, was always my gripe. I hate it. I hated it when they did it by regions because it makes for uneven groups. Now we have the best teams in the first spot, at least by FIFA ranking, plus the host, second best, third best, fourth best, although fourth best with a caveat because all the th three that are not qualified yet and there might be quite some highly ranked teams in there that may actually be pot three not sure if pot two although i, I don't think uh, peru would make pot two by the way here are the pots yes i have my laptop back so i can give you now graphs again so here we have uh the pots and as i said pot one we have of course host cutter which are already assigned to group eight and we have brazil belgium france Argentina, England, Spain, and Portugal. And um, on the background here, Ukraine is still there. I have, of course, chosen, they are actually still in the running. I've chosen the 12th best team plus Belgium, which I decided, yeah, I'm gonna wear Belgium today because it's a nice shirt and uh, let's see. So those are your top seats. Those make the uh, the group heads. You, we can discuss now all along, should Portugal who went through the playoffs, blah, 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 uh, be a top seed? Yes, because they have been that good simple as that um in pot two i was a little bit surprised that uh mexico is actually uh, the best team in there but i think the last win did something good to them whereas you know the netherlands denmark and germany they all had friendlies this is the kind of the one thing with the fifa uh ranking that if you play friendlies you don't get as much of a boost than if you play actually competitive games so maybe the point for the draw was not the smartest chosen there, but hey, so be it. So the Mexico, Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, Uruguay, Switzerland, United States, and Croatia in there. Croatia, World Cup final is only in pot two. Then uh, pot three, Senegal, Iran, Japan, Morocco, Serbia, Poland, South Korea, and then Tunisia moved into that pot because Canada lost their last game. That's the one... That's the, uh, really the one team where, uh, where one can definitely tell that uh, their recent performance put them in a worse spot. If Canada wins the last game, they're in pot three, which is really, really, really bad. I mean, uh, of course, you also see in the FIFA rating, we have Mexico and the United States uh, teams that finish behind Canada, that Canada um, beat are in pot two, whereas Canada is only in pot four. So uh, there's a lot of historically baggage. Uh, if you're a new startup, you're not automatically getting high, uh, high, high up. So maybe there's some tweaking of the system needed. Uh, I leave that up for discussion now. But uh, with Cameron, Canada, Ecuador, Saudi Arabia, and Ghana in there, where I also think that Ecuador is a team that uh, is a potential banana skin for many others. And then we have, of course, where's, U uh, where's Scotland, Ukraine? The UAE, Austria, Australia, Australia, or Peru, and Costa Rica or New Zealand make up the draw. So those are the pots. I, as I have, as, as, as I said, Canada is the one that uh, you know when you look at it from. If you don't know how the qualifying finished, it, it may look odd, but Canada really would have been in, in pot three otherwise. So uh, there's a direct. This result really, really counted. So, yeah. Uh, 
that's why you need to know how the rating works. How do you get the points? And this is something you know. As a statistician, hire statisticians to figure that one out for you. Now, um, my interesting, the most interesting part from for me now is the draw procedure and what it means. How likely will certain, uh, how likely will certain um, teams play against certain other teams? Um, the draw procedure will be relatively easy. Uh, starting with pot one, we get the top seeds, which to me is uh, rather important in many ways because uh, with the top seeds. Uh, you kind of set the path, and um, I know I promised a first uh, prediction already for to th for uh, this, this this video. It doesn't make sense if we don't have the groups more more or less. I mean, it makes sense to get some raw winning pro pro probabilities, but um, I will do that later today uh, to in order to uh, see the impact of the draw. But it's pretty clear that uh, Brazil, France, Argentina, uh, Belgium. England and so on, Spain are among the top favorites, exactly in that order, because this is how the rating, uh, the ratings work out. So yeah, uh, as much, so much for the favorites. Um, it's uh, how to say it's not. An, it, it's a little bit of a moot point at this uh, because it's rather pretty, pretty good. The strongest team will come out on top is only if there's like with the pot. Might be uh, that you may be a little bit um, uh, disadvantaged in such a way but uh that might might be another thing that we could discuss but i little i literally didn't have the time for that uh yesterday because uh, that would have been interesting but back to the draw procedure we'll draw teams from uh pot one then from pot two then from pot three and then from pot, pot four and whenever a team is drawn a computer checks what are possible what, what, what are the possibilities and what has to be take, taken into account because it could be that the team that is drawn could be allocated to the group but then all the remaining teams could not be properly allocated anymore and this is really really important it's a highly restricted draw even though the pots were done uh, well it's a highly re 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 restricted draw in order to get a simulated draw already 10,000 times as I usually do in order to get the 10,000 uh, times I had to uh, simulate a total of, let me just check, a total of two, almost two and a half million draws. Meaning that only 0.4% of the, if you just made random permutations of the four pots, only 0.4% are valid draws. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on there uh, that needs to be taken care of. I just want to put this out there as, as well. It is not a straightforward for, for a procedure. In that sense, it was easier. And that's why I understand before we had the computing power, it was easier to do it by regions. That's a purpose more. I personally think it is rather, it is maybe, <clears throat> how to say I would get rid of all these country restrictions. I mean, so what if there's a group with all Europeans? I think that should be fine. I have the same problem with the Champions League because I think it makes for a fairer draw, less interesting. But of course, I wouldn't make a video much then. But so be it. In any case, let's look at uh, the draw probabilities. I want to go team to team by team and tell you, uh, you know, some teams I can group, um, which uh, teams are very, very likely. So we start with pot one, uh, where I say which teams from the pot two, three, four. Then we go to pot two and look at uh, how, because pot one and two, we already, already did it uh, symmetrically. And then we have three, um, three, four. Uh, so pot two with three and four, and then pot three uh, with uh, pot four, what are likely and unlikely permutations? I mean, um, it is pretty straightforward in the sense that Qatar, uh, out of pot two, it is um, relatively even. Uh, pot two for pot, pot one is relatively even, but, but we have two, two restrictions that, that um, South American teams cannot play Uruguay. Other than that, everything else is possible. But because of that re restriction, we already know uh, that Uruguay will more like, most likely actually uh, play against Belgium, France, England, uh, Spain, and Portugal. I know I should do it the other way around. Um, if we look now a team by team from Pot 1, Qatar uh, is least likely to face Mexico or the USA um, uh, because of the way that uh, then the, the draw turns out uh, further down, down, the, down the road. Uh, Brazil is very, very likely to get a European opponent, of course. Um, 
from uh, the second pot. Uh, Belgium, on the flip side, is uh, slightly more likely to get Qatar or, Ur or Ur Uruguay, which is the same goes for France, England, Spain, and Porto. So uh, Brazil and Ar Argentina are very similar there, and the other ones too. Now, uh, for pot three, and it does make some, some sense, but still had me uh, bogged. Um, the chances for Qatar to play against Serbia or Portugal are about three uh, uh, twice as high as, for instance, for Morocco or Tunisia or Senegal. So it is very likely that Qatar will play against Serbia or Portugal, which we know already that many teams would actually love to play against Qatar, be doing this uh, gold news for Serbia or Port Port Portugal in that way. Um, whereas uh, Brazil then is also more likely, as is Argentina, because all the other teams, I mean, for uh, Senegal, it is a rather even uh, affair, can face almost anyone. Uh, the Asian teams, of course, cannot face uh, Qatar. So they are more likely against Brazil, Belgium, France, Argentina, England, Spain, and Portugal, Portugal, and so on and so forth. Um, so this is for Qatar and Brazil, Belgium in, in pot three. Now, uh, pot four, we have a similar pattern, uh, but again, uh, the opponents, uh, the, um, the African opponents, it is rather even. Uh, they can go in either of, of these because there is no restriction there. However, uh, the one European spot can, of course, only go. It is possible they can go to the other Euro European teams as a draw workshop, but it's rather un 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 unlikely. It's actually more likely that uh, such a spot uh, that the, Euro the European spot will play against Qatar, Brazil, or Argentina. Uh, the South America Asian spot. Um, more likely to go to the other teams, cannot play against Calcutta in North America, um, against uh, Oceania is also very, very, very even. Ecuador is the one uh, that's also restricted, cannot, of course, play against um, uh, Bra Brazil and Argentina. So uh, Ecuador is very likely to end up in one of among the other teams, but that I'm not telling you any news there. Let's go to pot two, Mexico. Again, very likely against Serbia, Poland. Uh, same goes actually for uh, Uruguay and the US because of restrictions. Because uh, if there's a European team already, um, at, that, at this stage, most European teams have already been drawn, Serbia, Poland, and the final European team are very unlikely. So very, 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 very likely that it goes in there. Uh, other than that, it's rather even, I gotta, I gotta say. More interesting is pot two with pot four. Uh, where, of course, this last European spot is either very likely to end up with uh, Mexico or the US. That is very, 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 very likely with a slight outside uh, chance, but also Euro, uh, that Euro, uh, Uruguay will play against this team. Um, other than that, again, within the restrictions, relatively even, I don't see any anomalies. Surely Mexico uh, is kind of likely to play against Ecuador. Uh, and same goes for the US, uh, and then um, same also for Saudi Arabia. So uh, interesting there as well. And now if we move to the third pot and who they can play from the fourth pot, uh, again, very many permutations. And since there are certain combinations, no, no, not allowed. Senegal against Saudi Arabia seems to be very likely, as is Morocco against Saudi Arabia and Tunisia against Saudi Arabia. I mean, uh, the African teams, because Saudi Arabia then has only the op other options, would be Serbia and Poland, but we already know that those go in uh, more likely with other groups, so it's very unlikely in that sense. So uh, African teams with Saudi Arabia, really, really, really li likely. Conversely, uh, Ghana will, of course, not play any of the African teams. Um, and there it is a little bit more tilted um, towards... No, nah, it's not really, if you look at it. It's very, 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 very even in that. It, it is very, very, very even. However, uh, the European spot is, of course, very unlikely to play against Serbia and Poland. We already said, as I said, that the same goes for Canada, Ecuador. Um, and the North American Oce Oceanic spot, uh, they will likely not play against Ser Serbia and Poland. So you see this European rule actually uh, goes all the way down. So I hope this gives, gets you a little bit excited for the draw. Um, you know, I'm super excited about, about this draw. I have everything prepared for that. What I would like to um, how, 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 how say, 
Um, I hope this gets everyone excited for the World Cup, but what I would like to add in, in addition, we should not forget the circumstances that got us to this World Cup. I hope it will be a great World Cup. I personally do not mind necessarily the winter stuff because, you know, uh, yeah, it gets it's not the usual stuff. But since I anyway prefer watching soccer uh, at home than uh, outside, unless I go, go to a stadium, but I'd rather watch it uh, alone on, on TV to not get distracted by others. I don't mind all that much that it is in winter. It actually makes it a little bit more cozy if I think about it. Any case, let me know your thoughts on the draw. Maybe I should give you uh, one group that I would like to see because uh, it would be fun. Uh, I'm act I actually actually think that one of the true wildcards in pot two is of course Germany. I would love to see you know whoever Germany. I mean, if it's a fair draw, Germany should show go to Qatar because I think out of the pot two teams, Germany is the strongest one easily. I would love to see Germany play the. Uh, you know, to get at least some interest in there, to play either one of the big teams, meaning Brazil, France, Argentina, England, or Spain, would be really, really interesting. So this is one, uh, the first one. Although, if I, as I said, if it's a fair draw, Germany goes with Qatar. I do not want to see a group with Qatar, Mexico, or the United States. This is absolutely a no-go. Even, uh, even Croatia or um, Switzerland in there would not sit right with me. Because that is immediately the throwaway group of the tournament. Uh, that's the but this is how the seed, the seeding goes. So I would rather see a Germany or a Netherlands, potentially even a Uruguay in that group. Uh, so saying it uh, a lot. So uh, let's say um, let's pick France, Germany, or England, Germany, France, Germany. Sounds a little bit. Now we had that just England, Germany. I want to see England, Germany. Uh, then, uh, now I, I put myself in some trouble, uh, because I cannot choose <laughs> Serbia or Poland. Uh, let's put Senegal in that group. No, I don't want to punish Senegal. I think Japan would be interesting in there. And then from the last one, Canada. I think that would be a really, really, really interesting group. Uh, if I would say, uh, Germany with, uh, let's say Argentina, because there is, uh, the, all the World Cup, let's do Germany, Argentina, then Serbia, because they always give Germany a whole lot of trouble. So I would love to see that. And then for good measure, add Canada in there, because I, uh, because I think Canada is the most, uh, dangerous one out of the bottom, uh, teams there. So yeah, there you have one group that would be fun. But as I said, uh, I want to have a fair draw. I don't want to have like a really, really tough group, although it more or less uh, opens up. I want to have a draw where, um, you know, it gets interesting. Then, you know, if you have a group with Brazil and France next to each other, and there's this looming specter that both teams, you know, let's say Group C and Group D are Brazil and France, both teams need to finish first because you otherwise play each other very very likely we had the last time with germany and um with germany and brazil there was the uh, day that they germany was a good i remember in 2010 uh there was a there was even because with spain lose losing the first game that spain and brazil the two top teams could have well faced each other in the round of 16. i think i would like to have such a setup that if you both finish first you go separate ways, but if one of them finish second, you're clashing right there. That would be, for me, always something interesting uh, to have. So yeah, those are my thoughts to the World Cup draw. Uh, please let, let me know what you would like to see, uh, especially if you have a country in there. I mean, you know, I don't have a, a skinny in, in the game, which I honestly think is a good thing because I can look at it, I can fully full enjoy it. I find it actually it's distracting if Austria would be there. So I can root for my teams that um, I usually like. But in a way, I can be rather, I can in many ways just sit back and enjoy. And that's also good and hope that Germany doesn't go far. No, I actually, that's, that's the other thing. Germany up until the quarterfinal, at least. Maybe even semifinal that I have a villain in there. And I'm saying this with all respect to Germany, Germany, Germany because uh, my dislike for Germany has dissipated. I actually see that the good work they have done in many ways. So just put, put, put that out there, German fans. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.